Welcome to the project demonstration of drainage monitoring system using IoT. So we are going to get the alerts into your mobile phone by using Blink application. So here the main sensors are DHT11 to get the humidity and temperature and the floating sensor to get the level alerts and MEMS accelerometer sensor to rate the like a uh, uh, lead position so whether it is open or not. So we are going to mount this all the sensor inside of the lead, means drainage lead. So whenever the person trying to open that, then automatically the system will detect that with the help of this MEMS accelerometer sensor. So here we are using ADXL 335 which will read the X and Y parameters. So based on the X and Y parameters, so if these are cross the threshold values, then it will indicate it as a tilting was happened and that was given alerting input to our Blink application by sending the alert notification. So if you uh, didn't open this app also, you will get the alert notification after logging to this one and uh, we are continuously we can monitor the uh, digital humidity and temperature from this DHC11 so here we set the limits for this DHC11 is above 70% of humidity you will get the alert notification above 40 degrees centigrade so you will get the alert notification on the mobile phone so coming to the floating one whenever the water is uh, overflows then automatically this white lid will comes up so like this then the system will read this data and inform the same to the mobile phone application through this same blink app. So here we have interfaced these sensors to our Arduino Uno board. So MEM sensor interfaced at A0 A1 and digital uh, humidity temperature sensor at 10th pin and our uh, floating sensor at 11th pin and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module at pin number 8 and 9 pins. So here this is the uh, breadboard we are going to distribute the 5 volts power supply. So here uh, we are providing 5 volts input from this adapter and we are distributing that into the input and output modules along with inner board. So it will act as a breadboard here. So before on the power supply to the cage, we need to enable the hotspot and data in your phone. So go to the hotspot settings in your phone and change the hotspot names to 5306. So project 5306 without any space and without any capital letters. And the next password should be 129 so that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is very important and the third step is ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz so these three are very important check twice before switching on the kit and after the uh, switch on the hotspots on the data and now install the blink application so log into the blink application from the given credentials so there we can see red icon over here so it shows the status of the device is offline so after you switch on the kit, it will automatically connect your hotspot and with the help of your data in your phone, it will log into the Blink application from our ESP8266. Right, you can see that there is no red icon over here. So now we are again continuously getting the information from the humidity as well as temperature sensor. So when we blow the air, so we can see the increasing in the humidity. So when it crosses the 70, then automatically we will get the alerts. Right. So, high humidity alerts. So, till it comes down to 70, so it will keep on sending the alerts to your phone. The same manner, temperature also above 40 degrees centigrade. And the next floating one so whenever the water overflows then the level will be increases and automatically you will get the visual alerts and notification alert into your phone also so level is high I can till the normal so the system keep on sending the alert notifications to the app next tilting on so level alert right